All right, YouTube, I got 455 pounds on the bar. I just did 405. I'm taking a break, drinking my little juice, um, listening to some music. But I wanted to tell y'all something real quick before I do this set. No, I'm not gonna do this set on camera because I'm, um, I'm just lifting it today, all right? Um, I got plenty of videos where I did 495 and this and that and the third. This right here is nothing special to me. It's part of my warm up. Well, it's kind of my heavy side of my warm up, but uh, of course I start off with one plate on each side, two plates on each side, three plates on each side, four plates on each side, 455, 475, 495. Um, that's how I usually go. Um, some people say that's too many jumps, big jumps between da da da. Hey man, don't tell me how to lift, all right? So, but that ain't what the video is about. The video is about this, right? I'm trying to make 495 part of my warm up real soon, and it's getting there. Um, but I just did 405, right? The gym's pretty empty. Um, good thing, but it feels packed. Um, now there's different types of lifters in this and that and third. Now some people don't know what you like. They don't know what you don't like unless you tell them. But how many times can you tell them like, okay, if I do 315, 405, da da da, people come over there try to high five me and all that. I'm like, I don't like that, bro. Oh, okay, yeah. And then they come back, 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 like, dude. You're never going to live out with your legacy being a spike and tight mentality on mine, you know? Spike and tight mentality, what does that mean, all right? Anybody that knows anything about old cartoons, there was a big dog named Spike and a little dog named Tyke. If you're a grown man, in my opinion, this is I can't tell you how to live your life, but, hey, man, you'd be better off not being a Tyke. And being a Spike <laughs> is annoying because you got Tykes around. Like, grown men that be just... What are you gonna do, Spike? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You already know what I'm gonna do. You know, if I did a certain amount of weight and it was easy, and you know that I'm pushing for some heavy weight, whether I'm benching, squatting, deadlifting, or whatever it is, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a break in between that set, I'm gonna put some more weight on the bar, and then I'm gonna try to attempt to lift that. And if I fail, then okay, that's enough for the day. I might do some back off sets, I might do some other workouts, and this and that and third, but that's, that's heavy enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna push it to my limit for the day. Not past my limit, not to injure myself or anything like that. But to get stronger, you gonna have to push that limit. You know what I'm saying? You can't come in here chatty patty talking about it. Let's talk about it, we here. You got the weight on the bar, let's talk about the weight on the bar. Oh, oh, oh. So this one dude, he be doing that. And that's how they sound, man. Don't be that guy, man. Don't come in there, man. Don't be the distraction, all right? The opposite of focus is what? Distraction. And as a grown man, you should not be the distraction of another grown man. You should be doing your thing. You're not only holding that person back, you're holding yourself back. Comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. Watch my longer daily videos, and I'll show you me doing this way anymore. I need to breathe, man. I can't be making these videos in between sets. It's kind of messing my mind. I'm messing myself up. Talk about talking between sets, but you doing it. You know what? You, you, you dang right. But we all do that. We we got things that's our pet peeves that we do those things that we. But I don't talk to other people, man. I ain't here for that. Hey, man, I'm talking to my fans and my people that I'm trying to help and teach and reach. You feel me? So comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. Go check out my diet. Go check out my lone wolf mentality and the pig. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. It's time to do the weights. Now I gotta get ready again. <laughs> that's that's the problem. You gotta get okay. Like you gotta get ready. Then somebody will come over and mess you, and take away all the things you were trying to build up. And then you got to get ready again, then maybe it won't even happen. Even though that's lightweight for me. Don't don't hear me say it's lightweight and then go in the gym and try to do this. You ain't never dead lifted in your life and then you go come try to do for me. I see somebody do it. I, matter of fact, I got a story to tell. Dang, this video's supposed to have been over, right? I know a dude, he did, was it this amount of weight? It was somewhere like, no, I think it was like 365. I forget, whatever it was, he lifted it. It was his first time ever dead lifting. It was amazing. Which means he's very strong. You know, without even training like that, he's already strong like that. But his form wasn't right at all. Terrible form. Nobody's form is perfect, not even mine. Um, you can look at my deadlift videos, and, 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 and there's flaws. There's, there's flaws in the greatest. All of them, everybody. But especially when you lift a heavy weight, there's going to be flaws in your form, right? There's going to be chinks in your armor, right? But, dude, man, he tore his back up. He lifted it. But he never lifted again. He, he, he quit working out after that. That one day, that's all it took. Yes. So shut up and be careful, man. 
Comment, like, subscribe, and share, man. Peace.